Good afternoon, all my fellow metalheads out there. How we doing today? Coming to you today on this beautiful Thursday evening, afternoon, whatever you want to call it, in the West Desert. What a gorgeous day it is today. We had a super cold front come through for about a day, day and a half. Parts of like Denver and a lot of Colorado had good heavens like over a foot and a half of snow after being in record highs they dropped a record you know a month ahead of time it was it was just astounding historic levels they saw their first snow a month ahead of time generally and out here i'm in utah we had some snow on our mountains we were hanging out in the 90s then all of a sudden we drop into the 40s. <laughs> that was chilly. You say, yeah, Utah, West Desert, we're generally warm. Well, in this time of the year, we are. But this super cold front just came through out of nowhere from the Arctic, the north, through Canada and so forth. And it just hit the entire, like, I want to say the most of Utah, about central Utah on east through a lot of, like, Wyoming and... Colorado so anyway this is not a weather channel <clears throat> I just had to throw that out there because it is a gorgeous day today we're sitting at a nice 71 degrees right now in the late afternoon early evening hours of this recording and today is the kickoff of the NFL football season yeah yeah God. man I've been waiting on this for so long. This is probably the biggest opening day of football that we've ever had. People are just reaching for any kind of normalcy. But that's not the case for me, of course. I mean, normalcy is nice, but what's normal anymore? I just love football. And there are some critics that are around me that do the whole, they're not watching it anymore and things like that, boycotting it. I'm like... You do what you want. That's fine. That doesn't mean that I have to. Regardless of the players and so forth, I love the game of football. I grew up on it. It's a part of my life. It's, gosh, a part of my religion. <laughs> I love football so much. And so, anyway, that I'm a big fantasy football player. Yes, I've done my homework. I am the defending champion in my league. And I have some players tonight. So, anyone got some advice for me, got some questions for me about that on the fun side of all this, throw them out there in the comment section. I have validated uh, through other people that I am a legit player. So, I'm not the best, by no means. I don't claim to be the best. Disclaimer real quick, not the greatest fantasy football player ever, just a champion of my league. So, anyways, let's get on with this thing, huh? What do you say? Well, Silver... We are playing with the $27.05 range right now. Still a buying day. We're looking good. It's holding. It's holding good in those uh, buying ranges. Gold. Sitting around the same 1940, 1950-ish. If I remember right. It might be a tiny bit above that. But it is down as of right now by $1.40. Uh, and if you're a gold holder, you ain't too worried about 1950s and things like that. Because silver and gold, before we know it, it's going to be astronomical. And what are you seeing here and how it relates of what I'm going to be talking about? You can see some, what I would consider second market silver rounds, okay, from various mints. And I got these on a super great deal. Sometimes you can go on your online dealers or uh, depending on your LCS, you can go in and see some, your, uh, I don't want to say rugged, but you can see some weathered, I would use the term. Some weathered rounds and get them substantially cheaper than spot. <clears throat> okay. I think I picked these up uh, well before the craziness that's going on in our society started ensuing. So I was able to pick these up when spot was around, you know, 17-ish, I believe it was. And so my cell, I think my LCS dealt me these for about 14 it was, it was an unbelievable price, but they were just sitting there and people just kept passing them up. And so me being intuitive and doing a little research and, you know, for the last little while, 
and where I think this is going to go. I jumped all over it and I killed off all of his, uh, if you will, toned, weathered silver rounds. I took them all. And so I thought that was a really good investment. Of course, this is not all of them. But at that point, and still, I emphasize to others, I'm trying to as well, but it's really hard for me to get away from the limited mintage coins because I think there's substantially more value that you're stealing from that. But if you're a relatively newer stacker, I would definitely, definitely advocate to pick things like this up. Secondary market, weathered, toned, silver like that, because when this thing blows, it's not going to matter. The silver content is there, and it's not going to matter whether it says uh, sunshine minting or whether it's, you know, around from, say, a dealer SD bullion that's in premium shape. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of difference. Don't get me wrong, but a lot of even those who self-proclaim to be experts, investors, run to things like this because it's great value for the money you're spending and they're adding to their weight and to the stack of the physical. And a lot of people that you're going to run into when you go to sell, if you are a seller, want weight. And you want money back on your return. So the more you have of it at a cheaper price, when this thing just wants to go through the roof, you're going to really come out very nicely. So, And gold as well. Gold has the same concept. People tend to take care of gold a little bit more. It's not uh, as susceptible to like the toning and you know the weathering like silver is. So that's why anytime I'm handling, I don't advise it, but I don't really mind it. Uh, when you're handling your silver using your bare hands, I use hand sanitizer a couple of times before, you know, before I handle it with my, your, your skin naturally has oils in it and it'll leave tone marks, milking spots, things like that. But yeah, if you have gloves, cotton gloves, whatever, you don't have to, but I advise it or, dis, or really disinfect your hands, get all the gunk and the oils off your hands if you do insist on handling it with your bare hands. So. The Dow Jones today for your market update, down again after that crazy day yesterday of bouncing back. Down about 463 points if I remember right. And why? What's going on? Bad news is good news for the markets, right? Well, they took a little pause today out of all the manipulated numbers, and I'm guaranteeing you it's well above what I'm about to say. The uh, jobless numbers came in today. New claims, new jobless claims of 884,000 new jobless claims. Now, that did rock the markets. People are a little worried about it every time that this happens. That's 30,000 over what they expected. Me, I know better. I think most of you know better. They've rigged these numbers for the economy, for the investors, for the Federal Reserve. Keep pumping in that medicine to the no-fill main five stocks that keep this thing floating. Speaking of that, I left you on a note that I couldn't remember the six stocks that the NASDAQ would be in the negative. It was Tesla and it was Amazon. I don't know how I forgot. Tesla was out there. I think I mentioned it. I just couldn't say for sure. But Amazon and Tesla was among the others with Microsoft, Apple, and Netflix and those guys, they are just astronomical right now. And, you know, Federal Reserve just keeps throwing them money. We'll keep you afloat. Too big to fail type of stuff. But, yeah, we got, uh, I've heard a couple of comments outside of my YouTube from people in my personal world who actually watch my station. And they're not big on leaving comments and things like that. So they talk to me in person and they're like, they're not too big on... The political type of stuff when I talk about it. Well, okay, I get that. This is not a political station. I give you updates and the news as I see it. And as it comes in, I'm more or less a messenger and to help wake somebody up. Because you're not going to find a lot of the political news. And I don't even touch on a lot of it. There are so many more stations out there that focus generally on just that. I just try to sprinkle it in there along with, you know, a great subject of what we love here. And that's our silver. And so when I throw in some politics, it's merely only it's a headline or it's a rant to help get a message across. That's all it is. I don't favor, you know, I give you my point of view. I am a 
only a person speaking out loud, voicing an opinion, and deliver the news as I've read it and doing homework on it to help maybe one of you to maybe spread the message. <clears throat> and the main message that when I'm reading about the politics and the markets and things that are going on in the real world, it all relates to this. Why we are doing this. This what we call fake economy that is a revolving around us through all the mainstream media that's trying to calm everybody down is running out of steam. People are waking up. Gun sales are all-time highs in history, and we're not even done with the year. Ammo you can't find anywhere. I mean, it's incredible. But people are waking up. That's a sign of what that means, how it relates. When, I'm, when I report something like that to you, for instance, firearms that are all-time high sales for the year of 2020, well, that means people are getting worried and they're concerned and they're waking up to what's going on in the real world. Whether it be government, whether it be movement, political movements, or whatever the case may be. And also they want to protect what they've worked so hard for to get that fiat paper money and transfer it into something that is a necessity. Okay? <clears throat> so, that's all it is. And if they don't like it, if I'm offending anyone by just merely spreading the message, I, you know, maybe this isn't for you. The message has always been about silver, okay? And I think every one of you know that. I just correlate it to try and spread a bigger message on how, where it comes from. The market's so rigged. Our Federal Reserve has bought everything. They own, they're buying stocks. By the end of the year, they're going to own one-third of mortgages predicted. You know? And so, I don't know what what... If the Federal Reserve is buying everything, the dollar goes down, this goes up. And this fluctuates every once in a while. And, you know, when I'm watching the markets to see how to gauge whether it's a buying day, if I think it's going to dip, if I think it's going to, you know, soar. I watch a lot of the dollar index. And it's still down, but overall, for the day, it's up by like, you know, a tenth of a basis point, you know. And they will... They'll spin that any way they can into positive news. The euro is way ahead of the U.S. dollar. So, a lot of things are not telling you. But back to my point, these silver rounds for newer stackers, these are really, really cheap on a person who's on a relatively small budget. If you can't find these, okay, it's not a huge deal. There's still fractionals out there. And when you look at a gram of silver, a tenth ounce of gram, a tenth ounce gram of silver, you look, you, you look in a, you know, a price that's probably out of your comfort range because you think of, you know, the denomination of how small it is for what you're paying. That's the going prices now, though. And if you're able to find the, the small denominations like the grams and the tenth ounces, the half ounces, especially if you're on a strict budget, don't hesitate. Pull the trigger. Go for it, because. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? If you have to liquidate and get the fiat money to take care of a bill, hopefully you don't get to that point. You take care of the bills first. And I have to remember that myself all the time because there's always amazing new coins coming out. I want to add to a collection or, you know, I want to grab some more economical rounds, things like that. But yeah, you got to be economically smart in your own sense as well. But pull the trigger on the fractionals. Definitely. Like I said, if you have to, you can always liquidate to get the cash. Whether it be your LCS, online, whatever the case may be. Silver is very liquid. You can always get rid of it. Now, the source of making sure that you don't get ripped off, that's a whole other story that I advise using the online dealers unless you know exactly what you're talking about and have a trustworthy source go on, you know, to do it in person. So, that's pretty much all I really wanted to tell you all today. It's an exciting day. For all of us sports fans, those of us who are in to the NFL, season starts today. We are ready. I am super pumped. And, yeah. And, I, of course, I'm going to miss half the game at least. i got to work. I'm going to try and get out of here in time so I can catch maybe the second half. But I want you all to keep stacking. Keep your confidence high because this ride is far from over. Things are going to get bumpy. Beware of your surroundings, please. And I want y'all to have an amazing rest of your day. Tell your loved ones you love them. Tell your friends how much you appreciate them. 
because every day we get is a blessing. We got it so much better than so many other people. If you're able to watch us on a telephone, on a big screen TV, on a TV at all, you got it a lot better than so many others. As crazy as things are in our country and around the world, uh, like I said, if you're able to even tune into this, there's so many people that can't and won't ever get the message. So help spread it with me if you would. Hit that like notif hit that like bell, the notification bell. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. We got so much to talk about. This is a fun place to be. And if you don't like it, well, keep scrolling. <laughs> but all my other metalheads, we dig each other. Let's help spread that message and let's go watch some football and get to work, huh? So this heavy metal noise is going to sign off and have a great rest of your night. Thank you.